Since 1871, it has been proven scientifically that man can estimate a quantity of no more than four objects accurately every time. The English economist William Stanley Jevons conducted the corresponding experiments and published the results in the Science Nature of Journal. For a test on himself, Jevons used the following setup. He tossed black beans into a white box and immediately closed his eyes to prevent himself from counting them normally. He found that when there were five beans or more, the estimates became increasingly erroneous, meaning that from five upwards, the exact number of beans could only be determined by counting them normally. Professor Hans Gross of the University of Würzburg maintains that his human limitation influenced the counting systems of ancient advanced civilizations. It played a key role in the development of new systems for numbers beyond four. Okay, let's look at the question now. Which choice describes the overall structure of the text? Option A. The human mind's limitation limitations are described on the basis of number systems of ancient civilizations. Option B. The logic of a traditional theory of a number system is tested on the basis of contemporary evidence. Option C. A theory is based on an experiment and it is possible impact on the understanding of number systems of ancient civilization is described. Or option D. An experiment conducted by an economist is used to prove that people of ancient civilizations were limited in their ability to count beyond four. So let's see exactly what uh, the what is the overall structure of the text. So for that we need to know exactly first in paragraph one what happens, then in paragraph two what happens, and in paragraph three what happens. So once we understand paragraph by paragraph, we would be able to understand the structure of this text. Okay, so let's see what happens. So first it starts by, uh, it, it, they give you two people's uh, uh, point of view. So one is William Stanley Jevons. So what they say, this has been provenly, this has been scientifically proven, right? So the, 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 the practical part by William Stanley Jevons has been scientifically proven. It's based on his experience, experiments. So what he has uh, said that when there were five beans or more, the estimates become increasingly erroneous, meaning that from five onwards, the exact number of beans could only be determined by counting them normally. That means it's not possible to count more than four. This is proven by experiment by William Stanley Jevons. So let's make a note of that. So this is what they talk about based on his experiments. Now, Professor Hans Gross of the university has something different to say. So he agrees with uh, Jevons, but he, he also states that this human limitation of not being able to count more than four this human limitation might have influenced the counting system of the ancient advanced civilization. So he says that probably since we are not able to count more than four accurately, maybe that would have influenced the counting system of the ancient people that would have influenced because or based on a limitation because we have limitations, maybe because of that they would have, it would have influenced the counting system in the ancient um, civilization, ancient advanced civilization, right? So probably our limitations played a key role in the development of the symbols for numbers beyond four. That's his point of view. Now, this is just a theory. It's not proven. He just has stated this as a theory, right? So let's make a note of that. So Professor Gross's theory is that based on this understanding of human limitation, uh, it would have influenced uh, the advanced civilizations, right? To make systems or to, or to develop new symbols for numbers beyond four, because we are not able to count beyond four. So these are the two points we have here. Right. So now what is the structure of text? Right. So we need to put in an option. We need to predict an option in such a way that tells you something like this. The first has been scientifically proven and the second is just theory. Right. The first is by William Stanley Jevons. It's scientifically proven. He has proven this. And the second is just a theory that it might have influenced uh, our limitation might have influenced the ancient advanced civilizations. So this is the structure of the text. So let's go to the options one by one, do process of elimination. Let's see which option fits our um, structure here. Option A, the human mind's limitations are described on the basis of a number system of ancient civilizations. Okay, so now if you look at option A, the focus of text is not the human mind's limitations, right? It is the scientific proof that is presented by Javon, right? It's uh, the proof is not presented on the basis of number systems of ancient civilizations. Therefore, option A can be eliminated, right? Let's move to option B. 
the logic of a traditional theory of number systems is tested on the basis of contemporary evidence right now again the logic is not tested uh, or the logic is not speculated right of the theory of number system right so they have just given you two uh, one experiment and one theory and based on that they are saying that the limitations of human mind might have influenced the counting system in ancient civilization that's what we are talking about it's not the logic uh, of the number theory so option b can be eliminated now let's go to option c a theory based on an experiment and its possible impact on the understanding of number system of ancient civilization is described right so this is close to what we have here a theory based on an experiment right that's william stanley jevons theory sorry it's uh, professor gross's theory right a theory based on an experiment and its possible impact on the understanding of number systems of ancient civilization has been described so this is close to what we have let's keep that on hold and then let's move to option d an experiment conducted by an economist is used to prove that people of ancient civilization were limited in the ability to count beyond 4 now again the experiment is used as a basis to speculate that maybe ancient civilization evolved uh, a certain uh, number kind of a system right because we have limitations of the human mind right so it is just like a speculation professor gross just makes a speculation that it might have influenced he is not giving you a strong theory and stating that with proof that it influenced right it might have influenced so but option d tells you that it's used to prove right so we have no, we don't see any proof here so d is eliminated therefore the correct answer for this question should be option c a theory based on an experiment and its possible impact on the understanding of number system of ancient civilization is described